Okay, I have two windows open here. One with our instructions for the hanging indent files and one where I will demonstrate. So I'm coming down to the new blank document and I'm going to format with the rules here. Formatting for all files is margins one inch. So I'm going to set my margins and I can do that on layout and I can do it in a few places. I can click here and all the margins are one inch so that is your normal setting. So you can just leave it at that. Now line spacing is going to be double and the fastest place I can get that is probably right here. Uh, my line and paragraph spacing this too is double spacing and just to show you in a different way if you go to the launcher for paragraph settings you can see I am set at double. It says double here but in this list it will say two. So my margins are set. I have double spacing. I need hanging indents to a half an inch. So I can do that by coming again to the launcher special hanging indent by default this is a half an inch 0.5 inches and say OK. Set Times New Roman so you can type it they will find it you can click it and point size will be 12. Start at the very top line for each document file and I am on the top line I'll press control home just to make sure I am and now I need to type my hanging indent sentences here and this information that you're typing is just about hanging indents and about doing essays in college that have a certain format called an MLA uh, style format so all you will do is start typing and everything should be taken care of for you. Now make sure that you wrap your sentences even if they look a little different than mine like this one is. Just let them wrap and overhang because you've set everything exactly where they should be. Now this is creating new files, CNF, hang, 01 file. There's going to be, uh, it's going to be eight files, I believe. And so you would save the first one. Now, if you need to practice and in order to remember the old trick that we did, then practice it. Otherwise, I'm not asking that the file names and your name be put on this line but if you do need to practice I it's I won't I'll be happy for you to do that if it's on the line in other words that's a-okay so I'm just going to remind you how we did that it was options proofing autocorrect options and if I type my initials here right now I have my old code and so I'm going to delete that which just ends up putting it here. I'm going to change this to hanging, CNF hang 01, and add that and say OK, OK. And if I type my initial and press the space bar now, it will change it to the file, well, to that string that we put in. And then I would go ahead and save my file then close it with the file close and then I would open a new blank document and then I would do the second file and when I put my initials in I would need to change the number one to two now this is optional this time but I do want you to know how to do it so if you need to practice it practice it one more time for this exercise